Five years ago, what did you set out to do in these greenhouses with your compost? Well, first of all, we came and saw Fong and asked him what he was seeing in his greenhouses. He had an issue, he continuously had an issue in one of his greenhouses where he'd been growing eggplants for some time. They'd grow up to a certain height and then they'd collapse to an extent. That's right, we had a look at them, we took some samples back to Saudi and had a look at them and, and he was suffering from a, well, probably a bit of a disease complex, soil borne fungal disease that was affecting his plants. And it was in one of his lower lying areas in a greenhouse here uh, that he'd, he'd always had problems. Yeah, problem with water. Yeah. Um, uh, water used to uh, pool there and, and it was a disease prone area. So we came in, Fung allowed us to, to work in his worst area. And <laughs> 10 percent. Yeah, yeah, 10 percent. Yeah, yeah. To the growing depth. Yeah, but, so yeah. Uh, three or four, maybe five centimetres, which Fung then incorporated, of compost that we spread on top, a fine grade compost. Fung uh, incorporated that uh, and then went about his normal management practice. One thing Fung noticed uh, initially was that in order to wet up the soil where we had the high rate of compost, he would have had to apply too much water to the rest of the crop. So the plants, the young seedlings in the composted area, suffered a bit through lack of water uh, to start with. Now, they recovered from that. Recover after, yeah, well, um, that that's right, after, yeah. after your, about your first crop, your first um, setting, they'd caught first up, setting, hadn't they? Yeah. So what did you notice after that, Fung? They, they, they came up and grew about the same, appeared about the same. No, they grow, they set up better. They, they set better crop, yeah, didn't better they? Crop. That's right. When we came yeah. in and did when an analysis. Them, and we counted them with the number of foot. Yep. Usually another side is set about Three, four, five. It's the setting, yeah. but the one setting a bit lighter, you know, because yeah. it's be burning when not enough water. Yeah. Yeah. But after the they start setting, some I think you count seventeen or twenty three. It blend. Yeah. At least twelve or thirteen. It's yeah. setting. Yeah. The, 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 for the for the setting. That's right. Yeah. And that was uh, an extremely hot year as well, the wasn't it? And, the, yeah. and there were a yeah. number of uh, number greenhouses of where where plants really suffered yeah. from the hot weather. Stuff in the hot weather to burn, but on especially that tree like the with the compost, the owl, you know, with the lack of uh, calcium yeah. or the burning. And uh, we got wood crop for the rest. So since then, Fong, now you incorporate a lot more compost. Mm -hmm. We were talking about it earlier, and you were saying now your watering regime has changed. Yes. Quite considerably. So now, when you establish a crop, you give it a good heavy good watering heavy because water of the improved water holding improved capacity. capacity. Wet it right up, Wet but right then up. you don't have to water as often. Yes. And, and we dug into the soil earlier and we had a look at it. And, and originally, when, when I first came here, when you weren't using compost, the water used to, around the drippers, it would pool out on top and then sort of so at, it, at depth it went depth contract. Yeah. And now it's the other way around. It sits on top of this and then moves out. Yeah. On the bottom. And the roots are out in that beautiful looking soil. Salt is the other thing you've noticed. Oh, the change to the way the salt moves through the soil. It doesn't sit on top anymore, does it? You know, if we keep spray many fungicide in a glass house, we will kill some fungi, you know, the good fungi on our... In the soil. That's, soil that, right. that's right, yeah. yeah. But you found also, and it's probably, there's a benefit from the disease, improved disease suppressiveness of, of, a, of a healthier plant and the, a healthier soil, but also the fact that you're watering less frequently, yeah. and that has allowed you to, well, you don't have a problem now with powdery mildew like you used to have on the bottom leaves, for example. Because sometimes, on the top, they dry up a little bit. Yeah. But the, the cup of tea, you know, the water on the ground, yeah. to plenty for the plant. Yeah. And that's why the, the I think the humidity less. That's mm. why the the the, mm. the, 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 the fungi not yeah. start to be up. Yeah. But to me, if we keep up the fungicide, the plant and the plough very happy, mm. and they can set up better. Because yeah. many times we spray with the fungicide. Next day, you can see the color plough change. And, mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. and you're saying that you, it's easier to control. Things like thrips as well, these yeah. sort of things. You can drop thrips, I think that uh, maybe the plant's stronger. Yep, yep. And, uh, and a 
nice glossy yeah. healthy fruit yes for one thing you know the the, the, the fruit always better side and glossy yeah, and a heavier inside. set and, and instead of um, and, and, and the sell ability like, sell like better yeah, yeah. And, and you find that you're getting you've been able to spread your crop out so it's not as densely planted yes long the crop yep. get longer but you get a, a heavier crop regardless longer. because you have a longer cropping period longer cropping period If we get feed them all the time, mm -hmm. the the soil been coming wet because like before we get feed them every week like mm -hmm. capsicum, mm -hmm. and uh, begin growing up when the roots start to grow and we have to get feed them feed them nearly every week, and uh, I find out more we feed them now more we kill the soil mm -hmm. because some fertilizer inside we don't know how much the land, uh, the plant take away. And how much left there? We just guess. It'd be really interesting to do a soil test too. We did that yeah. earlier on, yeah. and the things we noticed were extremely high potassium levels here, for example. Mm. Um, and, but but obviously that wasn't. It was just sitting there year on year. It wasn't available to the plant. Now I'd imagine being able to back off back on up addition bit. of those. Still higher, but not 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 it's, bloody it's just more available to the plant. What was what was originally locked up in the soil becomes more available. Through the use of compost, plus the compost itself supplies an amount of that. So. I think we say fertilizer yeah. because the roots got plenty of food on the ground. Yeah. They yeah. eat slowly, slowly, and they're growing. Yeah. And we let feed them. Yeah. And so you're making a saving in your initial planting savings, you're planting less plants, but you're getting uh, a heavier crop set and a longer cropping, mm -hmm. cropping period. So, Fung, if for some terrible reason you couldn't get any more compost to use in your growing, what would you think? What would you feel? We make compost. <laughs> <laughs>